Welcome. In this video, we're going to look at activating your Microsoft Azure. Microsoft Azure is Microsoft's version of cloud servers. With a couple of clicks, fill in a couple of fields, Microsoft will set up a server for what you need. The servers they offer are wide and varied from a standard Microsoft Windows server to Active Directory to web servers, SharePoint, Dynamics, even high-end data centers. Couple of fields, couple of clicks, Microsoft does all the work for you. Plus they take care of all the hardware and power requirements and network requirement. So this is a great solution for many companies. You should receive an email from me with your Microsoft Access code in it. In this email, there are two fields that are important. First one is down here, it has your student pass. So I'm going to copy this field at this point in time. And then I'm going to click on the link right above it. And if you need any help on any of this, in Learn It Stout, I have some I have some notes I use to go through and do this process. Now, in this video, I have to change to some screen captures because I've already associated a Microsoft Azure account with my, with my Microsoft account. But at this point in time, go through, select your country. Your country needs to be United States of America. That's where UW Stout's at. That's how the codes are associated. Then in this field right here, paste your code in here and go ahead and click submit. It'll ask you to sign in with your organizational account or your Microsoft account. At this point in time, click sign in. Over here, it will say, what account are you signing in with again? Make sure you click on your UW Stout email address. Now it's gonna ask you work account or a Microsoft account. This account comes from the Microsoft mail server. That's how they do this. They, they try to associate it so that way you only have to remember one password. So go ahead and click on work account, worker school account. Then it's going to redirect you to the login server. At that point in time, and I missed this screenshot in here, but you have to enter in your password. Your password is your UW Stout email password. Once again, they're connecting to our mail server to get that information off of there, so that way you only have to remember one password. So once again, your password is your UW Stout mail server account. Then it'll have you enter in some information. Go ahead and enter your first name, your last name, click submit, and here is information about your Azure Pass. I have an instructor account. My instructor account is a little bit bigger than yours, but you should have a $100 US monthly credit and it should be a six month duration. If you click on the view or offer details, this is what comes with it. This is the explanation there. The idea is you get a hundred dollar credit from Microsoft and they charge based upon how big your servers are, how much you use the servers. If you don't use your servers at all, you don't get charged for anything. And for our course, what we're gonna be using for, this is great. This is exactly what we're looking for. So when you go on to the next screen, please fill in your information. This is for you. If you have any questions or problems, you can call them up, contact them. They'll verify this information. Click the I agree to the submission agreement, offer details and privacy statement, and then click on sign up in this area. At this point in time, it takes a couple minutes for, you, for Microsoft to set up your account, to associate your UW Stout Mail account with your Azure account and make sure everything's right and then give you the, the correct subscription, the $100 per month for six months on there. They do show you a video or give you, offer you to watch a video. I recommend watching it for most of you. Most of you probably never used Azure before if you have, this is a great introductory to it. So when this is done, load it up, it'll say, welcome to Microsoft Azure. At this point in time, you can click on start managing your servers. It'll come to this window here, and it'll say this, this subscription has a spending limit on it. Click here to change the setting. 
At this point in time, you don't have to change any of the settings. We should be well within our $100 allotment for, this, um, for the month. And if you do go over that limit, actually they won't let you. If you reach a $100 limit per month, then they'll just suspend your account until either the next month starts or you enter in a credit card information. If you do what, what we're doing in class here, you should have no problem staying under that $100. So at this point in time, I click on the portal button up here on the right. It thinks a little bit, it has a nice little animation graphic. And this is your Microsoft Azure portal. This is where we'll be doing setting up our servers and doing some configuration at that point in time. Microsoft Azure does send you a confirmation email to say everything has gone correctly. This was a quick little video on how to show you how to set up your Microsoft Azure account for use in this class. Thank you.